We've been uh, putting up a lot of uh, indicators here uh, now that we close out the first half here and kind of showing uh, market positioning and market sentiment here. And there does seem to be a different story showing up in the price action compared to what you're seeing in equities, compared to what you're seeing in the bond market, and of course, compared to what you're seeing in commodities. Do you think that mm -hmm. we'll start to see a little bit more of a sync up of those three main pillars of our financial markets? Well, I think uh, when you start out looking at the global economy, it uh, it doesn't look like it's falling into recession, but it doesn't look particularly strong. Remember last summer, there's concerns about Europe falling into recession. Well, it's, it's sort of in a mild uh, downturn right now, and uh, all in all, uh, it's weak, but uh, not enough to really pull down the global economy. Uh, China's uh, recovery from its uh, lockdown uh, requirements, uh, elimination of those lockdown requirements, uh, that's been sort of lackluster. Uh, but the U.S. has been really strong, and the U.S., US particularly the fiscal spending, is very, very strong uh, for um, creating more onshoring and infrastructure spending, mm -hmm. and that's having real ripple effects on the on the global economy. But all in all, it's not adding up to a, a, a big increase in commodity prices. So commodity prices could continue to go sideways for a while here. Uh, the uh, bond market uh, seems to be pretty calm in the face of the Fed talking about another 50 basis point increase in the Fed funds rate. I think the bottom market uh, perceives that one way or the other, inflation is coming down. And we could probably do without a recession. But if the Fed insists on a recession, bring it down. That's yeah. okay with, with the bond market. And the stock market is telling us that uh, all in all, it adds up to a pretty good environment uh, for equities.